What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now I forgot to record an intro for this video earlier. Kind of wish I did. So my voice is kind of, a, it's starting to fade on me a little bit now. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold or something. But in today's video, me and Blake from Thrill of the Gill, we were down at the Tom Bigby River fishing at the dam that you guys have seen me fishing at before. I mean, we tried multiple techniques out there today. Ended up catching a few different species. Probably not going to include them all in this one video. Yeah, overall, I'd say it was a pretty successful day. Now, if y'all don't already have Thrill of the Gill, I'm going to drop his information down below so that y'all can check him out and pick him up if you're interested in his channel. And now, before we get this video going, if y'all are enjoying the content that I've been putting out, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you're new to the channel, or just haven't subscribed for whatever reason, if you would please consider subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. But I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you want to see the really cool fish that I caught, make sure you stick around to the end because that's actually the very last fish that I caught for the day. Y'all stay tuned, see how it turns out. They're hooked up on something. Feels pretty small. Not big at all, whatever it is. Well, since we lost that striper that I had on earlier, first fish of the day ends up being an egg on drum. We know we're gonna let this bad boy go, but if we can't wind up getting on the target species, we may wind up keeping one later. I don't know. We'll see. All right, look. Looks up again. Probably another drum, I imagine. Another old drum feller. I'll send him for a ride on the water slide. <laughs> I bet that was fun. All right, we're seeing lots of uh, lots of drum action, but there's some hybrids mixed in. So I'm actually, I'm about to put on something that's going to deter them drum from biting a little bit. And we'll maybe just key in on the hybrids for me. But, uh. I'll put on this little hair jig. I got a uh, Zoom Super Fluke trailer on it. I feel like that bigger profile, I feel like it's going to deter a lot of the drum. That did not take long at all. We were hooked up on the hair jig already. What do we got though? It looks, uh, it doesn't look very drum like. Uh oh. What? What? Star. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> Add to my species list for the day. Got me an old, old gar on the hair jig. I was hoping it would keep the drum off. A gar ain't what I was gunning for, though. All right, buddy. Let you go back home. Bye bye. All right, y'all, for right now, the bites become practically non-existent except for pretty much all drum. So I'm actually gonna resort to a little bit different method. I've got this big old treble hook on here. I've got a three ounce weight. I've got that on some 40 pound braid on my uh, my 10 foot Ninja Tackle bummy stick. We're gonna toss this out here and try to do some snagging. Now, I know some of y'all may not think the snagging's sporting or whatnot, but I mean, it's not something I typically do. I did it a lot when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, shoot. Uh, shoulders just can't handle it. It's a lot of work, a lot of effort. Here in Alabama, it is actually legal to snag, except for on the Tennessee River and on the Coosa River, I wanna say. The only thing is you can't target game species. We snag for like catfish, drum, stuff like that. You just can't specifically target a game species. And if you do happen to hit a game species like a bass or a crappie or whatever, a striper, you gotta put them back immediately. You can't keep them. 
Let's give this a try, see if there are any cats or anything hanging around we can snag a hold of. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. It's little. Play <laughs> is drunk. It is cat. Yeah, buddy. Huh. Looks like he just wrapped him. <laughs> Pretty much lassoed him. <laughs> lassoed this old catfish. That's good, though. It's a good eating size cat. That's one way to get them. We can't get them the right way, so we're going to get them that way. Biting, you gotta stick a hook in him somehow. What we got here? We got a little more girth to him over here. What is it? Catfish. Catfish. Yeah, they are the perfect eating ones. No, channel. Little channel cat. We got another little old catfish. We're gonna get him on the stringer, add him to our fish fry. We're gonna have a good fish fry this weekend. Whee! Zip lining catfish. Snagging seems to be the most effective way today. I've, I mean, I've got a bottom rig out, they ain't hitting the bottom rig. We've been tossing lures, they're not biting lures. So we're gonna try a couple more times, see if we can get some more of them. We're trying out the fish gum catfish candy for the first time. I've got some on my rod sitting out there. Blake had some on his and uh, he's had something hammered. We're gonna see here in a minute if it's actually a cat or not. He ate the catfish candy though. Nice little blue cat. Not a bad one. <laughs> What'd you do, break off? Yep. You got him though, I mean, at least you got him flipped up on the bank for you, broke off. All right, so the catfish candy works, it appears. Couldn't get my GoPro set to it all the way. So what? Couldn't get my GoPro set on the I mean, uh, Looks like the catfish candy works. I'd say it does. something snag here it's not too big whatever it is what is it? a little big catfish oh, 
All right, we're gonna try one last little spot right here. We're gonna stand right here on this big old rock and try snagging from it. I mean, in the past, back in my younger days, when we used to come down here and snag a lot, this right here is the main spot we can snag from. Usually had the most luck from right here. So let's see. Let's see if there's any luck left for today. Yes, sir. Got something. Oh, it is burning drag. We have got something big, guys. Yeah, if you would. That would be awesome. We have hit something that has started stripping some drag, y'all. Maybe it's one of these big old blue cats. They went hanging over there today in the usual spot right there. We're catching them by that wall. So we moved over here doing some snagging, see if maybe we can get one this way. We've got something, whatever it is, it's massive. It's big, man, whatever it is. I don't know what we got y'all, but it's, it's big. That thing went to peeling off drag. As soon as we hit it, it is, it's huge. Maybe the old bummy stick can handle whatever we got here. <laughs> I'd be a big old blue cat. That'd be nice. That'd be a nice way to end off the day. Whew. See, I'm already whooped from being out here all morning. This thing right here's got me absolutely whooped. I don't know how much of this I can handle. Did he come off? No, he's still in there. We're about to find out what he is. Oh, yeah. Trying to run on us again. Dang spoonbill. Ain't no big one. But that's spoonbill. Now this place we're fishing at it does have these things in it i mean every once in a while you wind up with one of these down here but when you do hang a hold of one of these things down here you got to get him right off that hook and let him go You're not allowed to keep them it's pretty uh pretty hefty fine you get caught with one of these But inevitably when you're snagging, I mean, there's a chance that you're gonna come across one, that you're gonna end up whacking one. All right, y'all, y'all check that bad boy out. We gotta get him back in the water. That is a freaking prehistoric monster right there. Ain't that awesome? All right, we're gonna get the release on him, let him, uh, they can go back and live his life. There he goes, he's gone. But on that note, we are gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Cause I'm already just about whooped before I hung a hold of that thing, but now, man, I am, <laughs> I am, whooped ain't even a word for it. I don't even know if there is a word for it. I am slap war out. But as always, appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for the support. See you guys next time.